Hi fellow musicians, my name is Hemi. Today we will be looking at how to create cinematic drums. First, let's take a look at the notations. This notation software is Dorico 5. And here we have three percussion instruments. On the top, we have the snare drum, and then we have the tom tom. And at the bottom, we have the bass drum. Always place the bass drum at the bottom, and the snare drum is usually positioned above the tom tom in the full score. In an orchestral score, the order of the instruments from the top to bottom typically follows from the highest pitch to the lowest pitch. The time signature is 3 fourths, and we have 4 bars here. As we can see, the snare drum and the tom tom are playing in unison. Uh, so first we have a quarter note, and followed by a syncopation uh, of an eighth note, a quarter note, and an eighth note. Then we have a quarter note, two rests, and the drag. If you don't know what a drag means, I've included a link to a video explaining it in the description. I place a ditto, this is called a ditto in drum score. Uh, so I place a ditto before the bar because I want them to be played before the primary note. This is called a primary note. And then we have two quarter notes and then another quarter note at the end. For the bass drum, we have a quarter note on the first beat of the second and fourth bars. We're not playing the bass drum at the beginning of every bar, and this is just to make it sound less robotic. Then we have an accent on the first beat of each measure for every instrument uh, except the bass drum in bar 1 and the bar 3. Here we have the MIDI file imported. Traditionally, we would use the snare drum, tom toms, and the bass drum. I've added all three instruments, so let's have a listen to all three together and see how that sounds. It sounds okay, but not very exciting. If you hand your music into your movie director, they're gonna say that it sounds like you went to music school, and there's nothing wrong with the drums you've created here. But today, we're going to do something different to make your drums and your soundtrack stand out. So first, we're going to replace the snare drum with the doll. So what is the doll? It's a double-sided barrel drum played throughout the Indian subcontinent. It is used in devotional traditions and family functions. When you think of an ethnic instrument, you might think it's something remote and foreign to you, but actually the doll is very widely used in the cinematic world. You might not even have noticed, but John Powell used it in How to Train Your Dragon. I've included a link to a thorough explanation of the doll in the description if you need to check out more details about this ethnic instrument. The snare drum, however, sounds more metallic and march-like, so we're going to use the doll, uh, which produces a softer sound than the snare drum and is better for cinematic purposes. The dough I'm using here is from 8DO. The articulation I want to use here is the brush, because the brush sound imitates the snare buzz. So in a snare drum, you have something called snares. They're placed at the bottom side of the snare drum, which produces a rattling sound. Next, we're going to replace the tom-tom with the tackle. The tackle sounds grander and gives a more foreign, distinctive sound than the tom-tom, which is very generic. The tackle drum is from the library Action Strikes. In the hit set, I selected all tackles. I just want the tackles to sound even more dramatic.
now we have the bass drum left. If you want your drums to sound more cinematic, one tip is to use a very low-pitched bass drum. There are tons of good bass drum libraries out there. This one I'm using is the orchestra from Sunascore. It sounds a little deeper than the previous bass drum. Uh, let's copy and paste this MIDI into the lower-pitched bass drum. Now let's have a listen to what we got here. I wanted to repeat one more time. If you want to learn how to mix your drums, I found a really good tutorial for you. You can hit the link on the top right of the video or click on the link I put in the description. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you learned a lot and ready to create your own cinematic drums.